Hey guys, Big Daddy Hopper 1911 coming to you today. You know, I'm always preparing for the zombie apocalypse. Hey, there's nothing more versatile than a double barrel shotgun. But I think I found something that might be better or might even help it a lot. Let's go check it out. So, uh, <clears throat> one of the most popular videos we've had in quite a while was the uh, Excalibur, Kiapa Excalibur uh, review that we did. Uh, this gun with the adapters is about $800, and that price tag was a little hard to swallow. 12 gauge over 22. Um, really great video. Um, but people were asking, is, is there a way to get the adapters without the rifle or shotgun yeah. slash rifle and yeah absolutely there is and you can use it in any break open shotgun you want so the adapters msrp are 450 and uh we'll have those on uh hoffmanfirearms.com for much less and the cool thing about this is you don't need to have an ffl to ship to it you can ship this to to any location in the united states uh and they are just seven inch uh rifled uh, adapters, pistol caliber adapters for the 12 gauge shotgun. So what makes this the ultimate zombie killer? I don't know if that's the ultimate zombie killer, but accessorizing is, but you know, it's, <laughs> it's all about, it's all about accessorizing for the zombie apocalypse. You're right. This may be the ultimate survival accessory. It could be. Yeah. All joking aside though, say you do come across during the zombie apocalypse, you know, one shot is better than no shots. You come across some random shells. Uh, in all different calibers, you've got the versatile 12 gauge, you know, you got bird shot, buck shot, slug, and that argument can be made all over the place. Um, but if you have another one of these, if you've got one of these sets here with these adapters in it, look what you got. You got 40 caliber, you got 380, you got 9 millimeter, you got 357 and, and 38, you got 44 magnum, you got 45 ACP, uh, 410 and 45 long colt and 20 gauge. So you come across that old farmhouse with the old farmer in it. He's yeah. got all he's got is 20 gauge, and all you have is a 12 gauge. You're good to go. Oh, you got to pull out one of these. And you yeah, you're good. So let's do this. Let's see what we have. Anything that's in the glass jar is fair game. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, let's let's line let's line them up and see what we got and see if we have adapters that'll fit everything. You gonna use my expensive ammo? Yeah, in there, right? and look, look, we got a really inexpensive. Uh, well, this one is uh, the JW2000 from uh, Century Arms. A little double barrel shotgun. You can get these for about 300, 350. Any break open, you know? So H&R uh, Topper, that's a real popular one. You can find those new for about 250, or you see them all the time in uh, pawn shops for about $100. I haven't seen one for 100. Come on now, you're not looking. <laughs> May need a little bit of uh, touching up on the barrel. You know, re-bluing. That's yeah. half the fun, though, of getting uh Yes, sir. All right, so let's line this up and see what we can do here. All right, let's All do right. it. Uh, you want to look at this real quick? This is gunadapters.com. They make, they've been making gun adapters for a long time. This is their 8-inch rifled um, adapters, $99, $109 a piece. Huh. And uh, MSRP on the Kiapa. Uh, they are seven inches, so one inch shorter, but four four fifty. But the retail price is going to be much much less than That's that. That's cool, right there. Then it is very cool. You're yeah. saving some money, and you get the you got to get them all. You may not want the twenty gauge one, but why not? You know, you never know in yep. the zombie apocalypse. All right, let's see what we got. We got some twelve gauge. We got buckshot, birdshot, two twenty gauge, uh, some four ten three inch and two and three quarter we got some 45 long colt 44 magnum 45 acp 357 uh some ball 40 uh nine millimeter and some 380 okay we're ready to rock and roll with that right we are yeah let's let's see let's get it all loaded up in the uh and then the trusty double barrel shotgun here and see what we can do all right so show me how that works all right So let's just grab the, here's the 20 gauge. And here is the 410, just like that. And okay. what you would do is you would just put the, uh... 
<laughs> hey, let's go slay some zombies, man. Okay, let's do it. All right. All right. 20 gauge, 410. All right. I'm not sure which, which barrel goes off first. I think it's the right one. Let's try the 410. Okay. Rubber dummy. That was definitely the 410. <laughs> All right. And then you're just gonna pull it out, just like that. And I've got another 20 gauge right there. And then we got the 45 uh, Long Colt, Hornady. Okay. And that just slips right in there. All right. Let's see if you can knock his hair back there, you know? All right, let's try that. So, first trigger was the right side, and then the left side for the back trigger. All right, let me right. zoom in here, buddy. All right. All right. Shotgun. I'm going to shoot the shotgun first, left side. And then the right side for the 45 Long Colt, right in the middle. Good deal. Let me zoom back out. I mean, it's not going to work for a horde of zombies, but, you know, hey, they, they, they don't run. You know, a lot of times you're going to be shy on ammo, so. Yeah. And those uh, just pull right out. They do have O-rings in there to make sure they're centered. Okay. Okay, 45 ACP on the left side. And 44 Magnum on the right. I'm excited about this one. Me too. See if we can't blow up something with that. All right. So just some standard ball on the right. Wait, that was the 44 Magnum. I'm sorry. 45 on the left. And 44 on the right. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Let me get a shot of that. Okay. All right, so what are we shooting here? Uh, I guess we can try shooting some of the smaller things. Okay. Well, they're pretty outdated drinks. I don't All know right. if they'll blow up, but we can try it. I want to try the cinder block with that 44. Let's right. try that. I'm zoomed in, ready to go. One in the middle? Yes, sir. Okay. I think I missed. We might have to get a little closer. Maybe. <laughs> All right. 45 on the left, 44 on the right. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm just gonna I'm gonna put it right in the middle of the dummy just to see where they're going. Okay. All right. I think 44 is the first one. Oh. You got two headshots in, buddy. It's, then it's shooting way high. Okay. They come out real easy, and the adapters come out real easy, too. All right. Okay, next two. All right. All right, the next two in the lineup are 357 and 9 millimeter. We only have one 357 round. Wah, wah. On the right hand side for 9 and 357 on the left. Okay. That would work for 38, but there were no 38 in the jar, so. I don't shoot a whole lot of 38, but I go in and dump my ammo in that jar. So. Yeah. 9 millimeter, 357. Okay. Okay, buddy. All right. Let's see if we can get a headshot on this guy. Okay. I think he got two, but yeah. Nine millimeter, three fifty-seven. Okay. All right. What's next? I don't know. Whatever's in the jar, eh? Whatever's in the jar. All right. Three eighty and forty. All right. We got some three eighty right here. It looks awful small compared to the other ones. And then 
that was 45. Here's the 40s. Okay, let's do it. All right, let's see if I can get a shot on one of those shaving cream cans. It's awful. All right, we'll try. <laughs> oh, you got one, right? Yeah. That's accurate enough for a headshot, right? It sure is. All right, again, 380. I think that's a uh, gold dot. Thanks for making the sacrifice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No more shaving cream with that. We'll hold it. All right. We'll do a couple more headshots here. You like that, eh? I do. I think it's cool. It is cool. All right. Are we out? I think that's it. No, we got a little bit more ammo, but we went through all the adapters. I like these adapters. Uh, I mean, for for the price, it's uh, I think it's a must-have prep. Absolutely. Yep. We've been meaning to do this for a while. All right, guys, you got to see the ultimate zombie apocalypse accessory. I guess you could call it that, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, and we gave the rubber dummy some heck too. Some good headshots there. All right, guys. You check these out at hoppinfarms.com and you can also check the rubber dummies out there as well. Remember to keep up the fight against gun control, join the support to NRA, and what else, Jason? That's Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and wherever else we are. Uh, who knows? But uh, and remember, Big Daddy loves you. Hoorah! Take care, guys. <laughs>